Erbium. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So this is another one of those unusual ones. Is it a lanthanide? Yeah, it's a lanthanide, isn't it, Erbium? Uh, erbium is a, a photographic filter, and it is actually a nuclear poison. What that means is that it will kill dead any uh, nuclear fission process. So it's obviously got some uh, applications there. Uh, it's an interesting element. When you make compounds of it and dissolve it in solution, it's often pink. So this is some erbium trichloride. Uh, you'll notice it's very slightly pink. Uh, a lot of the lanthanides have very weak but interesting colours in solution, and pink is obviously one of them. Uh, I think this is one of the ones which, because of its pink coloration, gets used in jewellery and things like sunglasses and things like that, if memory serves. So here you see erbium, okay, so this is one of those unusual metals from the bottom of the periodic table again, but it's stored in a glass ampule under an inert atmosphere of argon, so the argon is really unreactive. It helps us preserve and save the metal so that we can carry out interesting reactions. So here's erbium, really quite beautiful, shiny metal. Wonderful sample. Uh, well, as you see here, the, the formula is just erbium trichloride. Uh, if I just sprinkle this out on the bench, then moisture from the air would end up coordinating, and for every erbium, you'd end up with about six or seven water molecules coordinated, uh, which is a problem if you want to do any air sensitive or moisture sensitive chemistry because those water molecules, although they're coordinated to the erbium, as soon as anything comes in proximity with them, they'll react. So you have to have it uh, moisture free.